Um, I just hope I make my guys proud, and, and that's all that matters to me. I mean, my guys proud, make the fan base proud, my family back home. I can't wait to get back home to them. After Ohio, we did it again, and uh, you know, that's what it's all about. Sarepana. Oh. What can you say about the way you treat the team? Ah, I'm sweet. I would. Wala silang oatmeal ka na kayo, wala akong nakita. It's easy. It's easy. Um, I said in the press room uh, before, we have no ego. Um, yeah, good team. Good leadership. Every single day, both in off the floor, on and off the floor. And I know what it means to have seven years uh, when you feel like um, that you can't get over the hump. You know, I had seven years my first stint in Cleveland. I felt like I couldn't get over the hump. I felt like I needed some help. I felt like I need someone to push me. And that's when I was able to go to Miami and get pushed by D-Wade and Bosch and that franchise. And so to be able to get him, and we push him and let him know how great he is, but just making him see better basketball and better to be a part of something that's special, that's what it's all about. So to be able to put him where he is today, I, I, that means so much to me. And the fact that he trusts me uh, means even more. You were very vocal coming in here that you were just trying to win a title in this bubble, but you wanted to be a real voice for social change in what has been one of the most turbulent years in American history. When you look back about what the entire NBA Brotherhood did in this bubble, what will you think of? Uh, it's been unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. We didn't know it was the unknown, um, but I think Adam, I think everybody from the NBA, the NBPA, put this team together. Um, you know, and us using our voices, us using, being together. You know, you, you hear Golden State always use the phrase strength in numbers. And that's exactly what it was while we were here as, a, as the NBA, as the NBPA, all our players, everybody had a voice on what's going on in America. So uh, we know we, want to, we all want to see better days. Um, and when we leave here, we got to continue to push that. Uh, continue to push uh, social injustice. Continue to push for voter suppression. Continue to push for police brutality. Continue to push for everything that's the opposite of love. And I think if we could continue to do that, all of us, um, America would be a, a much better place if we all love this, this country. Brian, thank you so much for pushing against all of those things. Congratulations on that trophy in your hand and your fourth NBA title. Let's bring up Anthony Davis, please. Ready, Canada? Really, it's an alarm. Ano pa? Teka, may kukunin pa. When you imagined, when you were growing up back on the playgrounds of Chicago, this moment, how does the reality stack up with the dream? You can't even put it in some words. To be out here and ride with these guys for a full 12 months, you know, we've been through a lot of ups and downs, a lot of arguments, a lot of tough moments. And to hear them go off and we can get champions, and it's just a real feeling. I'm just happy with these guys. For years, when you couldn't get into the playoffs sometimes in New Orleans, all you wanted was the chance to test yourself, to be there at the end when the competition was highest. What you were able to do, especially defensively, during this finals, what did you learn about yourself? You gotta compete. It's tough. It's tough on the body. Um, it's a lot of hard work. But these guys push me every day, um, especially Braun and, and Doug. And they always told me about being great, being better. Covering up every mistake, it's my job. And to, <laughs> and to be able to, uh, you know, win it and, and run and see how tough it is and see this feeling and win this feeling again. You know, that's what it's about, to get this feeling and win this feeling again. And I'm with these guys, man. We've been through a lot. Man, to ups and downs start from the beginning of the season. He's trying to give you something over there. I love you, God. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you became teammates with Kobe Bryant back in the 2012 Olympics. He was a big brother to you for the rest of your time through New Orleans and then coming to here. I know that you have been thinking of him. You told me before the NBA Finals, I cannot let him down. Anthony, you did not let him down. What does it mean to you to have done that? You know, ever since the tragedy, tragedy, you know, all we want to do is, is do it for him. And we didn't let him down. Um, it would have been great to do it, you know, last game in his jerseys, but, you know, it made us come out even more aggressive, even more powerful on both ends of the floor to make sure we close it out tonight. And 
I know he's looking down on us, proud of us. Um, I know, you know, Vanessa's proud of us, the organization's proud of us. You know, it, it, it means a lot to us. It's a tough moment, man. It's a tough moment.